tonight I might meet a good man. The problem is that he seems also a bit desperate for money and therefore it makes him unpredictable. I didn't even know if I should have published this video because I clearly feel sorry for this man but he approached me telling uh, you remind me of my father and uh, my actual father died a few years a few years ago and uh, I still have the effect of it I clearly still have the effect uh, of it because when somebody tells me oh you remind me of my father or oh, this looks like something my father would have done I suddenly get scammed a lot I always fell for it and uh, <laughs> that's how this uh, scam started. I really feel sorry that this old man doesn't have enough money. He was a teacher in Egypt, he has his pension, but probably it's not enough. But the way he's making money nowadays, I don't know, doesn't make me feel good because he seemed and looks like a very wise person. And the day before, I offered him a pizza. I paid this dinner and then after the dinner he asked me for 200 Egyptian pounds which is like $12.50 and uh, well I decided to give him this $12.50 even if uh, his uh, story of why he needed this money was a total bullshit. He was telling me like uh, the wife of a friend that works in the building, she has some problem with cancer, if you can help out, uh, I can bring this money to the hospital. I told to him, okay, let's go to the hospital together. He was like, no, no, just give them to me because we need to organize this thing. We cannot simply go to the hospital. And I decided, okay, I will give you this money. No problem. You were a nice person. <laughs> you said a uh, wise sentence. <laughs> I think you were really really a good professor, but the way you're making money nowadays, I don't like it, but okay. At the end of this dinner that we had together, he offered me to have a walk in Bulak, which is a village inside Cairo, Egypt. Let's try to trust him and let's see how it goes. We agreed to meet at 9 p.m. under this uh, signage and uh, just next to this shop at the moment is uh, 901 uh -oh. and uh, <laughs> there is a girl writing to me one of my main problems is that i do trust people way too much so at first i thought that it was going to be for free this little tour of bulk then i thought well, maybe he will ask me again for 200, which, okay, I'm going to pay dinner again, I'm going to pay taxi again, but, well, it's gonna be worth it for the video. But, there is this huge but, sometimes people get too greedy. And, uh, oh gosh, if he didn't behave like that, this video would have never been made. Welcome everybody to Cairo in Egypt with Adam. Adam uh, yesterday had very very wise words regarding traveling. I was talking with Amiko about traveling is the school of life. Eh? Sure keep, Adam. Keep, keep going traveling to, to get more uh, education. Today we are exploring Bulak. Uh, this Bulak is one of the old uh, places very close to the center. It's really like a, a small village inside the city. And the, the people here, they are really, uh, they have uh, very uh, small jobs, but they do important jobs in the early time. Like uh, people, they have carriage with horses, uh, which is like a uh, taxis. Bulak was invented to host the poorest people nearby the center, so they yeah. will be able to work. Yeah. And uh, right now we are on the second or third generation of these people that came here. The area has a really very good atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. And you can see a lot of people uh, from uh, different uh, city come to Cairo yes. to, to make uh, closing business, as mm -hmm. you see. And uh, these people, uh, they, uh, they make uh, uh, 
business like each other like uh, I watch you doing mm -hmm. this and then I think oh it makes a profit oh, then okay, I okay. but uh, most of this is uh, second hand uh, mm -hmm. clothes and Adam is telling me that uh, this city reminds him of uh, Verona in Italy because the balconies are very close to each other you can talk with your girlfriend uh, one window to the other <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic yeah okay and uh, all, all, all the In Italy we did the same. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we call this uh, Sabbath surface. Sabbath, Sabbath surface. <laughs> we, we do the same uh, in Italia. <laughs> yeah. so bring the food directly to the balcony. Do you come here very often? Or? I, I, I come uh, from time to time just to, uh, to remember uh, the, the early days when I was a young boy, I come here just to see the carriage with the horses mm -hmm. and I enjoy uh, feeding uh, the animal, okay. the horses and uh, mm -hmm. uh, most of uh, these places as you see here, they, they have uh, the horses now. Oh, you mean uh, in, inside they were the horses? Inside they have. Uh, oh, okay, okay, this is really nice. So all the horses they were here, but now they, they changed the business, right? Yeah. They have a totally different business. Yeah, okay. uh, but, but uh, they still have. Uh, <laughs> Salamu alaikum. So being a village, everybody is so close to each other. There is always uh, like a, yeah. a festivity going on. <laughs> Maybe people are in a very good mood in this place. Yeah, I, I feel very blissful when I walk around here. I feel mm -hmm. very blissful. And I, I, I miss uh, this atmosphere in the area where I live, it's modern. Okay. And uh, people are a little bit snobby today. Yes. Where I live, they don't say even hello to each other. I know. It's... They, uh, they are busy coming down, put the key, uh, start the car and go. Yes, all over the world is the same. Ah, this is really... Uh, the the the. The most uh, interesting about this is the social life make people close to each other. Yes. But, but when you are uh, not uh, uh, having this social life, uh, the, the, the life has no test. The, the life yes, usually yes, yes. Uh, has uh, boring feeling, you know? Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum. It doesn't feel like a Cairo. I'm used to that Cairo is so huge. Every building is huge, every street is huge. People are playing uh, here, they have the local coffee place. Uh, the people they run this business, uh, they, they have Sunday off, okay, like, yeah. like Europe. Because uh, they, they are Catholic or Christian or uh, no, no, just no, because, just, they uh, because they like uh, to, to stop working on Sunday because uh, most of the neighbor they mm -hmm. they have uh, a yeah, day off and this is the barber salamu alaikum naiman hello <laughs> i see i see the, the amico, you will help me in the end uh, to to fix my uh, motorbike i have a motorbike mm -hmm. but it's broken he hears a motorbike passing and uh, tells me amico my friend at the end you will help me to fix my motorbike and in my head I'm like you are so old you don't have a motorbike stop with this lying <sighs> and how, how much does it cost you? Uh, they, they asked me for the 400 uh, edition, okay. which is uh, really like maybe uh, okay. uh, 20, 20 euros then he says that to me they are just 20 euros nothing he doesn't know that i live with about 10 15 euros per day apart the hotel expenses 20 25 euros could be 20,000 views in egypt is like 30,000 views to make 20 euros <laughs> I, I will help you but can, can we make 300 like bargaining. <laughs> uh, bargaining, but Ma see. okay, we make it in between 350. 350 will be very close. 
because I don't uh, uh, have enough. The man, every week, he asks me for something. I give him. This week he asked for 400 because he changed something in the, in the how do you say, in the gear books. Okay. And uh, the, uh, before he, he worked in, in the engine. So I was shocked by the price, 20 euros, about 25 dollars. And I told to him if we can make 300, which is about 16 euros. And he, of course, he tells me, let's make 350. Man, I was supposed to do a donation, not uh, that you decide the price of whatever we are doing and it was supposed to be originally maybe for free and uh, I'm going to pay the taxi, I'm going to pay the dinner and so on. Man, why are you so greedy? Like, I do understand that there are lots of people in trouble and uh, this guy had money in the past, I do not know what it happened. He traveled all over Europe, he stayed in Italy for months and months, he spoke great uh, I mean, not great, he spoke many, many words in Italian, so it was a man of culture. I really do not know what happened with him, but please, if one day I will be old, I don't want to scam people. I prefer to stay poor, but scamming people, it's completely against anything I was taught in this life. And every time, uh other uh, week before uh, he worked okay, with okay. Uh, Let's electricity. Going. This man he make uh, sweet mm -hmm. and he make something like pizza as well. Okay, okay. alaikum. At that point my mood was completely, completely broken and uh, I wanted to stop filming immediately. I wanted to leave uh, Bulak but you know what happened? He brought me to a shop of his friend and he wanted me to buy some cake. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> then he brought me to another shop and he wanted me to keep buying stuff. They have the herbs mm -hmm. and uh, natural stuff. Okay, okay. They, uh, they, uh, the people in the early time, they don't need to go to pharmacy mm -hmm. because they like to... So they use herbs and natural stuff? Yeah, okay. this... So this is the, the grandfather of uh, all this, this shop. Uh, gentleman. Oh, okay. He, he, he looks the same. Subhanallah. 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 Geddi means uh, my grandfather. Okay. Abu Gaddi. This is the father of uh, grandfather. We uh, that uh, no, that one over there. This shop looks very very beautiful. So this is the father of the grandfather. And then here is the grandfather. And this one is your father? Oh, brother. Ah, brother, brother. Uh, incredible shop. Beautiful, beautiful uh, smells and perfume from all these. Uh, things they have over here. Then I told to him, uh, look, I really need to go home. But we were on the other side of Bulak, so we had a long walk back. Assalamu alaikum. Here is the tailor. How many people live here, man? Hello. In, in, in Bulak, it's yeah. not less uh, than uh, three quarters of a million. Three quarters of a million lives in this area. That's uh, people, people like it because, as you see, they are very they close to each yes, other. Yes. And uh, the, 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 the people is uh, not the, caring so the, much sorry. about uh, COVID-19. Is it a shop this during the day? Or? Oh uh, yeah, this, this looks like a temple. They, they are open uh, during the day, but uh, they close now because uh, uh, they uh, they they like to uh, to relax. They don't like to work hard. Mm -hmm. But other people is open. <laughs> it's okay. <Yeah. laughs> Here they do sandwiches, yeah, burgers, pasta, and. Oh, they, other one they, I... they have the pasta and the sausage and bane and shish tabu yeah. 
and many well, different. You guys, look, this one is one and zero, ten. Yeah, ten. This, this is a five, I don't remember. Seven. seven. This is a seven. Why is this and that one, the, the circular is five, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Here they sell uh, stuff they the, for yeah, the motorcycle. For the yeah, yeah. Well, what is the most common game played with cards? Uh, 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 they, they call it Konkan. Konkan. Konkan and uh, 31. And 31. Uh, and uh, Basra. Basra. Okay, yeah. so I know 31. Yeah. Uh, I think it's international, huh? <laughs> yeah. Konkan is the name of a city in Thailand. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's a little goat. They leave the goat. They know how to go back home. Yeah, the, the goats are very smart. It's the same in Kenya. They, they always go and then they come back. Yeah, they, they know exactly where to sleep. Uh, both yeah. donkeys and goats. The people here, they have uh, Simeon and the Kebba. And they have uh, uh, the yeah, wood basha. The meatballs. Okay. The meatballs. Sour. So, uh, What's sour? No, no. He, he, he wants to get you inside. Then, uh, if you no. want to go out, you have to pay. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but uh, tell him shukran. Shukran. Kind of funny how a scammer helps me not get scammed by another scammer. <laughs> Probably he brought many customers in Bulak. So he knows about this guy. He is not happy because he understands that I explain you what is going on. Of course. <laughs> this district is very much alive. Yeah. Completely different. And I see the, the, in, in every bar there is somebody playing with cards. It's very, very common here. <laughs> when you have a big belly, it means you are wealthy. Oh, okay. when, <laughs> so we are both wealthy here. <laughs> when, you, uh, when you are skinny, you are a poor person, okay. but, but in, in the modern life, it is the opposite. When you are slim, because yes. you have time to go to gym yes, and yes, to play yes. sport, then you can be healthy and, exactly. and have a lot of money. But here, this people, they have a different thinking, way of thinking. Yeah. The problem is the police should know the law. It's not. A, yeah, a, but, but this is a small, uh, a small soldier. You know, he doesn't know very good. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. He, he doesn't know the the law very well, like uh, the big officers. You know. So these are where all the shops are placed during the day and uh, now we're going back home anyway i feel very very sorry for this guy but at the same time i hate being scammed i hate being lied i don't know i don't know how what to do but if you know how to help him he usually sits in Talatarb Square and stops white people like me because he thinks that white people have money like everywhere else in Africa. Thank you so much for watching Keep Reading and Believe Your Dreams. I hope the best for you, him, us, everyone. Ciao!